are getting support from an unlikely source. Keely Arthur explains how some state street business owners are helping out. Keely? That's right, Mark. The Maxwell Street Days Festival attracts 40,000 shoppers every July, boosting sales for stores on State Street three times the average weekend. And now they're spreading the wealth to Monroe Street businesses. Well, I love all the items I buy from the people in Africa. Step into Calabash Gifts in Madison, and you'll likely feel like you've been transported to a shop in Africa. And then those baskets, some are from Zimbabwe, a lot are from Zululand. Leah Kessel and husband Raymond, both originally from South Africa, have owned Calabash for 24 years. And business has been good. And then I sell a lot of plates. That is until recently, when the city broke ground for a major redo of Monroe Street, making access into the Kessel's unique world far more difficult. And then it's been really bad and scary for us. So bad that Leah fears the business won't last. She says this June, only two people made it past the construction and into the shop. That's really bad. And this is going on until November. Enter Sean Scannell, the owner of the soap opera and this year's lead organizer of Maxwell Street Days, the area's largest and longest running shopping festival, strictly open to State Street businesses until now. But we saw a chance to help another community. Um, we know that Monroe Street's struggling with all of the uh, uh, road construction down there. All Monroe Street businesses are invited, even encouraged, to participate. When I went down, I've actually been canvassing down there trying to get businesses to sign up. The Kessels have already agreed, and later on in July, we'll be bringing a piece of their world and livelihood over to State Street. It gives us hope, and I hope, you know, that it's not a pouring or boiling hot day, and that people come and enjoy what they see, even if they don't buy. Maxwell Street Days falls on the third weekend of July. It's nice to see that cooperation. Yeah. Thank you, Keely. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with our first alert.